Hi people and welcome back to the rocket shop. We've had some, we had a very really pretty interesting day today. Some stuff worked and something didn't. We did do a test last week where we put a, a couple of brass pieces, brass test pieces and two swirl injectors into the ceramics oven and they had been prepared with some uh, silver solder paste. So the idea was to take our new uh, inert gas chamber, uh, evacuate the atmosphere to make sure we have no oxygen in there, fire it up, heat up the oven and then let the, let these uh, the silver solder paste do do its thing. Um, so that we, we, we took out today and we checked how did that uh, soldering process go. And in short terms, it didn't go well at all. Um, the silver solder paste we used for this was something we got, kindly got donated. Um, and, and it was uh, some, some leftover uh, solder from a different project from years ago. So it was basically past it, uh, its, its due. And we tried to, so to say, revive this uh, silver solder paste. And in short, it, 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 it seemed like it didn't work. So um, we got a couple of uh, injectors, um, swell injectors soldered. And it was good enough for us to put, some, uh, to put them to a preliminary test in our little uh, water test stand um, and, and to, to just investigate the a little bit the spray pad and the throat properties and, and how these swirlers actually behave. Um, then we did a little quick and dirty thing. So we just took a piece of six millimeter copper pipe and rolled it up and then uh, made an induction coil uh, for the same induction heater as we're using for, uh, for heating up uh, or melting different metals for the casting experiments we're also doing. And then we had a little bit of much more fresh silver solder paste left over from some experiments also about a year and a half or two years ago. So we tried that one out instead and it turns out that the induction heater can heat one of these um, uh, swell injectors way faster than we need. Um, so, But it seems to work and it seems to be a hassle-free straightforward process. So the induction soldering process looks like it might be the way to do it when we're gonna do a couple of hundred swell injectors for the for the first BPM 100 injector. So that part seemed to work. So after getting the first couple of swirls ready for uh, for testing we uh, we took them to our little uh, test setup and so the uh, the purpose is really to measure pressure on uh, on both sides both on the oxidizer and on the fuel side and also to measure flow on both sides. So we have a little bit of setup for that two pressure sensors, two flow meters. And uh, the software, the data logging software is not entirely ready. So what we did today was we basically just ran some water through the swirlers just to visually see that it, uh, that it looks okay. And what we can see is that the, uh, they produce a cone which is uh, fairly open like this. And, um, and I think that's fairly okay. I would have liked the cone to be a little bit steeper, but um, I think for now it's, uh, it's okay. It's something we can uh, test with. So we'll be uh, testing the uh, flow as a function of, of pressure and uh, also visualizing the, uh, the spray pattern. And then once we have done that, and we'll probably get started on that next weekend, then I think we might play a little bit around with the geometry. So the swirls we have right now, we can change the geometry to a certain extent. We can uh, put them in the lathe and at least move, remove a little bit of material and make uh, sort of one lip shorter than the other and, uh, and play with geometry in that way to see if we can, uh, if we can sort of uh, steepen up the cone a little bit if we, uh, if we would want to do that. But for now, it looks uh, really promising. We're super happy to, uh, to finally put some uh, flow through some swirls and uh, we'll definitely play with it uh, more next week.